Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For this week's projects, I'll be making two different wall decor pieces, starting off with these four six by eight canvases. I'm using my silver metallic spray paint to cover all four. While my canvases are drying, I'm using this foam board, this mirror, this silver sharpie, and also my X-Acto knife to trace and cut out eight circles. I like to cut the front and also the back so when I get ready to pop it out, it comes right out. I have eight pieces in total here and to get rid of those rough edges, I'm using my sander that I purchased from Home Depot. I'm placing all my pieces down in the exact design that I want. I'm using these popsicle sticks to keep my wall decor in one piece. I'm painting my wall decor with this silver metallic acrylic paint. I'm focusing on the edges first and if you are going to recreate this then I suggest you paint your pieces before putting them together because it was kind of hard for me to get in between the cracks. Now it's time to decorate with these gold and silver beaded necklaces. I'm starting off by gluing the necklaces to the middle in a circular pattern. For these noticeable spaces, I'm just going to continue gluing the necklaces down until it's covered. I decided to add these three Dollar Tree mirrors to my wall decor. Now I'm filling in the second circle with the silver beaded necklaces. Then I did gold, silver, then back to gold, and now I'm taking the silver beaded necklaces and I'm gonna glue them around the entire perimeter of my wall decor. This part was a little challenging with actually getting in between the mirrors, but it's okay because I made it work. I'm very impressed with how this turned out. I wasn't expecting it to look as good as it do. Comment your thoughts below, and if you like what you see, just give it a thumbs up. This piece can also be placed on the wall horizontally. Back to the canvases for project number two and all I'm going to do is glue all four together. I'm 
I'm using these clamps that I purchased from Home Depot a while ago and these will ensure that there will be no spacing on the front side. I'm adding these popsicle sticks for more stability. I'm using more of these silver and gold beaded necklaces and I'm going to do a different design on each canvas. So for this first canvas, I'll be gluing the necklaces down in a diagonal shape and I'm going to do gold first and then I'll do silver and then back to gold and so on. For this second canvas, I'm gluing the necklaces straight across. This first canvas is diagonal going to the left and I'm going to do this third canvas diagonal going to the right. For this fourth and final canvas, I'm gluing the necklaces straight up and down. This was a little time consuming, but it was well worth it. Comment your thoughts below, like and share. And if you're curious to see what I come up with next, just subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.